I thought I'd put together a little video to show you how I built my uh, thrust test bench. Um, I just used uh, scraps and uh, things I had laying around to build it. Didn't really cost me anything. I it followed the uh, the general plans that the flight test guys had on their video, and it seems like it uh, it'll probably work out pretty well. Uh, but again, it uh, really didn't cost anything to build. I used some scrap uh, 2x4 lumber for the base. Um, I wanted to have a uh, base that was 3 inches high to match the, uh, the height of the scale that I used. So um, the 14 inches for the 2x4 uh, and then 2x2 two two legs that are 6 inches long uh, to give me a little bit of uh, rigidity. The uh, engine holding portion, the motor holding portion is 2x2 two two lumber. Uh, that's uh, 12 by 12. The vertical is 12. Uh, the horizontal is uh, 10 and a half. So the one you add on the other width, it uh, makes it 12 too. And then a diagonal piece that's 13 inches long with uh, 45 degree cuts to give it a additional rigidity. Uh, to help that, also I put some uh, metal corner brackets I had laying around in the garage uh, at the uh, junction between the vertical and horizontal. I left uh, an inch or so at the top so that if I needed to put uh, bolts all the way through, I could do that. Um, the hinge I did have to buy, that was maybe 3 or $4 from my, uh, my local hardware store. And the scale I already had for, uh, that I had purchased to, uh, to do some eBaying, and uh, so I didn't have to pay for that either. So that's, uh, that's the whole thing. It even folds up onto itself or take up a little bit less room for storage. But I did want to let you see what it looked like, and uh, later I'll show you how I actually put it to use. 